latest video from Black Excellence Excellus. If you guys have not seen this page, it is everything for upwardly mobile black people. Welcome to blackexcellence.com, the site where we celebrate black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. We are the largest community of black excellence enthusiasts in the world. Secure your membership by subscribing to our channel today so that you will become the first to know when we release our next featured video. You can also visit our website, blackexcellence.com, and sign up for our membership privileges and exclusive newsletter. This page was actually the, the page that influenced me to purchase a house in the location of Texas where I live, in Houston. They did a whole video breakdown of where Black people are building, Black people are living, and this place actually stuck out to me the most after I visited four based off of their recommendations. So if you guys have not followed Black Excellence Excellus, it was everything for upperly mobile Black people. It has history on rich Black families. It has advice for Black men and Black women. It is amazing. Head over there. So we're going to share this video in regards to the places that they recommend Black women and Black men visit. And I love, I, I love their recommendations. So without further ado, here we go that black Americans are moving to. Number one, Costa Rica. This Caribbean country may be small in size, but it has so much to offer. The landscape is chock full of awe-inspiring geographical features, including rainforests, beaches, canyons, and even volcanoes. Black American expats will be pleased to know that one third of the population identifies as Afro-Costa Rican, thus providing an African connection and also a place to discover the Afro-Caribbean culture, food, and music. Number two. All right, I wanted to make sure they highlighted that Afro-Costa Rican culture. So yes, there are black people in Costa Rica. I've been there. There was a significant amount of people who look like me out there and it's just a place where black people can unwind. The beaches are amazing. The downtown area is vast. You guys will get everything that you need in Costa Rica. So I'm glad that was on there. It was actually going to be a place that I recommend, um, but I'm glad that they touched on it as well. So let's continue. Panama. Although it's a small country, black expats are drawn to this incredibly picturesque country for its modern infrastructure teamed with a warm climate, peaceful lifestyle, and beautiful tropical surroundings. There is a growing black expat community here, particularly in Panama City, enticed by government incentives, discounts on goods, and low cost medical treatment. Number three. All right, so Panama City, again, I've been there before. The Air Force actually used to have a base in Panama. Right when I joined the military, got into a particular job, we used to go down there and provide security for US dignitaries that was visiting Panama. And I got a chance to go out there a couple times. Panama is a great place. Again, it's in the same, along the same lines as Costa Rica. It's very small. However, if you want a place to relax and uh, enjoy yourself, Panama would be a great place. And Panama City, it is chock full of food culture. They have festivals all the time. The people are very friendly. It is an amazing place. It is very safe, uh, it's particularly for black uh, black people. So yeah, you will definitely have a great time out there. So let's continue. 
3. Belize Surrounded by crystal clear Caribbean waters, Belize is unspoiled and pleasantly subtropical. This Central American paradise boasts a stable economy, long history of democratic government, and a strong respect for human rights and the environment. Belize is an excellent destination for black expats who want a simple life surrounded by beautiful natural attractions. Number I know you guys are seeing a recurrent theme. You see all these beaches and uh, just this amazing scenery. Uh, I've never been to Belize. The first time I actually heard uh, Belize, somebody talk about Belize was actually on a Rick Ross song. He mentioned something about Belize. If you get a chance to head out there, I'm pretty sure it'll be nice. I was looking at the pictures of the beaches. It's amazing. So you guys will definitely have a great time if you go to Belize. I, I actually need to go out there as well. So let's continue. Four, Mexico. Although media may often focus on the extreme negative perceptions of the country, black expats soon realize that Mexico, with its blend of Spanish and indigenous cultures, has a lot of beautiful attributes and positive aspects too. There's a thriving community of black expats in Mexico who not only indulge in the rich cultural celebrations, food, dance, and music, but also enjoy the awesome weather, diverse landscapes, and jaw-dropping scenery. Number So they mentioned uh, Tulum. From what I heard, people, it's a lot of people that's been going to Tulum and they've been messing it up. So I've, I've been to Tulum a while back, went on a couple's vacation. I had an amazing time, but from what I've heard now, it's kind of getting watered down because everybody is going to Tulum. I believe a ticket from uh, Houston International, the airport here, to go to Tulum and back is you know less than two hundred dollars, maybe even less than that. I'm not sure, but yeah, last time I checked, it was uh, very cheap. But uh, from my travels in Mexico, uh, I've been to various places there. I've had a great time. Of course, there's places that you need to stay out of. You need to do your research on that. You can go to travel.gov and you can see that. For the most part. There are people who actually, black people that live in Mexico a lot. I know Jay Fleming, he actually lives in Mexico right now. You can do great things in Mexico. I have a great time out there. So that was another place they recommended. Let's continue. Five, Ghana. When discussing the countries that black expats should consider relocating to, Ghana is definitely a legitimate front runner. For many black expats, life in Ghana may just be the multicultural experience of a lifetime due to its affordable cost of living, booming business opportunities, low crime rates, and stable democracy. Number six. All right, so I've actually been to Ghana. If you guys watched my video montage before the show started, I actually have a picture from Ghana. Had an amazing time. I mean, what can you say? Like, if you are a black person and you want to be around good vibes and have a great time, Ghana should definitely be tops on your list. So let's continue. Portugal. Europe is a very popular destination for black expats, and Portugal sits at the top of the list. Sunny Portugal is a hidden gem in Europe's crown, where the cost of living is among the lowest in Western Europe. The fashionable country due west of Spain is attracting young black expats, particularly entrepreneurs, given its incredible value and welcoming business incentives. Number. All right. So little background about me. I was actually stationed in Portugal. However, it was not on the mainland. In the Air Force, we have a base smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It is called the Azores. It is a series of about seven islands. I was actually stationed there for 15 months. So I spent a lot of time in Portugal. I spent a lot of time in Lisbon, the mainland. That is one of my favorite countries of all time. Out of all 46 countries that I've been to, Portugal ranks in top five. You guys will have an amazing time in Portugal. There is a family on YouTube. I forgot their name, but they are heavy into the investment market. They uh, rely on their Vanguard funds. They give a lot of information in regards to stocks and investing. They actually live in Portugal, a family. You know, they have two kids and they're doing amazing out there. Hey guys, it's Aman. And Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Today, we are talking about the beautiful small towns in Portugal and how to pick one if you decide to move to this beautiful country. But you guys can check out their page and they give you all the information about living in Portugal. I can't say anything bad about Portugal. It's one of my favorite countries to go to. So I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy it as well. Let's continue.
Number 7. Senegal Located in Western Africa, Senegal is known for its hospitality and most people are friendly, welcoming, and accommodating to non-local residents. With its modern culture and traditional heritage, living in Senegal offers a good infrastructure and amazing natural beauty. Senegal, I haven't heard too much about it. I've uh, heard people say some good things. If anybody has an experience going to Senegal, please let me know. I've been in that area in West Africa, but I never got a chance to go to Senegal. But I've heard great things. Didn't they just do very well in the World Cup? Was that Senegal? That It may have. I think Senegal did very well in the World Cup. So I think their uh, country is booming right now, if that's the case. So, yeah, uh, they recommend Senegal. So I'm pretty sure it's a nice place where everyone should visit. But I'm pretty sure everybody in these spaces know about Thailand. And you also know how I feel about Thailand. So let's continue. Thailand is the most livable of tropical paradises with strong infrastructure and incredibly low living costs. For years, its warm climate, inexpensive cost of living, and laid-back lifestyle have attracted tourists and black expats from America and around the world. Number 9. Spain Thailand. Yeah, everybody know about that. If you guys uh, haven't subscribed to Zoom the Thailand's page, please go ahead and do so. That, that, that brother over there is doing the Lord's work. He didn't, he's probably gotten so many black men to move to Thailand because of his videos. But that is one of my favorite places on earth. <laughs> I've been to Thailand three times. So it's not really much I can say about Thailand. It's definitely in my top five countries. The cost of living, the expenses, you will save a lot of money. It's very cheap out there. The beaches are some of the best in the world. If you go to uh, Chiang Mai, Phuket area, I just had one of my good friends. He actually visited uh, Phuket too. My brother was actually out there too, and they both enjoyed it. So I'm pretty sure you guys will love Thailand as well if you've never been. It is amazing. I can't say, I mean, if you want to feel safe, if you want to feel that you can walk the streets and just be a black man or a black woman, Thailand is the place to go. And that goes back to me telling women, stop talking mess about Thai women, because that is literally like a sanctuary for black people. We go there to relax and just enjoy ourselves. Don't mess it up. Let's continue. Sunny Spain is always a convincing choice for Black American expats who wish to enjoy a sophisticated working life or retirement in a European country. For starters, Spain has beautiful weather, a laid-back lifestyle, and spectacular beaches. It has one of the no schools and self-employment visas that appeal to entrepreneurs, freelancers, and digital nomads. Number two. All right. So you see my video montage at the beginning of the show. I've been to Spain twice. One when I had my when I retired in 2019, that was actually on my list of places to go. I went to Spain, went to two different places. I went to um went to Barcelona and then we also stayed on the coast, the marina area, which was like an hour away from Barcelona. And I I mean, hey, it's Spain. The beaches are are wonderful uh for the gentlemen. The uh, women are gorgeous for the ladies, Spaniards, you know, the men out there, they like black women. So you will have a great time out there. If you're a black woman, you get on the beach, you're looking all good, glistening up. Hey, you may get scooped up. You may find your husband out there. So uh, don't skip on Spain. It is an amazing country. Let's continue. 10. Canada. Canada remains a top contender for black American expats. The most obvious reason being its proximity to the U.S., other advantages include affordable education, cultural diversity, safety, a stable political landscape, a high quality of life, and its world famous universal health care system. Yeah, so Canada is pretty much almost like the States. I, I've heard that the people are a little bit friendlier <laughs> from what I was told. I've been to Toronto once. Uh, I was I dated a girl that was actually from Toronto and she used to come to the States, you know, just pass over or whatever. But yeah, I had a great time in Toronto for the three days that I spent out there with her. And from what I've been told, Toronto has some of the most gorgeous women. Where are you from? I'm from um, Toronto, Canada, where we are. Is it true that the most beautiful girls in the world are here in Toronto? I would, I would say so, yes. How'd you get them here from Miami? You flew in your plane? <laughs> and also ladies, I was told that it's a melting pot. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, the uh, the men out there may be to your liking as well. So black women, Canada may be a place where you want to visit. You know what I'm saying? Expand your options.